Hey and welcome back. I have built myself a do-it-yourself Bluetooth speaker and I'm going to show you how I made it. There is links for everything that I used in the description. I also want to say thank you. I have over 100 subscribers now. Thank you for watching and subscribing. This is not a high-end speaker in any way. I bought the speakers on a second hand, but um, it's low weight. You can skip song and adjust the volume, play and pause on your phone. You don't have to access the buttons on the speaker. It's easy to bring. It's low weight. It's perfect if you're in a park or if you're out outside somewhere. So this is how I made it. I got access to a CNC mill from Inventables. An X-Car is an excellent machine for this kind of projects. I modeled the parts in the software easel that comes with the X-Car and I used a 1 8 bit to cut the parts. Then I used a V-shaped groove bit to chamfer the front of the speaker. I was surprised of how easy the machine was to use. I have never done any CNC milling before and uh, I had no help whatsoever. So I just got into it and I got it going for 5-10 minutes. After the milling was done I had some sanding to do. I then modeled and milled the last parts. Uh, they, they were a little special with power button and USB, micro USB charging jack and stuff like that. I used a regular PVA wooden glue to assemble the box and some wood clamps to keep the parts in place until it was dry. After that I did electronics. I bought two 4 slots 18650 battery holder and I wired them in parallel. There is a description for the wiring later on in this video. I'm very sad to tell you that the major part from the electronic wiring and the electronic part got lost due to uh, memory card loss. So I will put a schematic where you can see how it was done at least. I bought a TP4056 with overcharge and um, discharge protection that I wired to the battery slots. The micro USB on the TP4056 is where you charge your batteries. After the PVA glue was hardened I used some putty to make the finish at least a little bit better. I bought some spray cans that I applied for 4 or 5 layers and then I also used a coating and coated the paint for 2 or 3 layers to make it shiny. After the first layer of paint I applied some more putty and sanded it a little bit more to make the finish a little bit better. It's not perfect, but I don't have to be ashamed at least. After the coating was hardened, I assembled the speakers. I soldered a step-up converter from 3 to 5 volts at the outport of the TP4056. 
As I told you earlier, some footage was lost and I guess this picture doesn't say you very much. So this is the wiring schematics. I hope that uh, you understand how it's done. After the electronic part was done, I glued and clamped the front to the box. And uh, you should be pretty much finished after that. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching.